your child's K-12 education can take many forms. This week we've looked at the various options from public schools all to homeschooling and tonight TV6's Harry Lee has details about online schools. Like the internet that makes it possible, online learning has many applications. Types of courses vary as well as the extent that students study online. Some do it full time, but many use it as a supplement to traditional school. For example, senior Libby Rogan at Dollar Bay High School takes Spanish 2 online. And I'm taking it because uh, my school only offers one year of foreign language and uh, my, the colleges I'm applying to require at least two years. We're thinking, okay, that's a description. Proponents say online learning spreads resources across the country and world. Finlandia University runs several online classes designed for high schoolers who don't live near a university. They can dual enroll in the courses for college credit. These are aimed at uh, students that are in more rural areas, uh, as they don't usually have the dual enroll option, uh, why they are uh, in an area that's a ways distance-wise from a college campus. So they can get these college credits 100% online. A screen in place of a teacher does affect how students learn, for better or worse. It is definitely harder online to take a language, but online classes generally provide audio, so you can practice both listening and speaking. So it is harder because you don't have someone physically in front of you teaching you, but it does enough that it's not too difficult. When run through a public school, online courses are usually free. Online courses come in a range of formats to suit the students' needs. And come back tomorrow for a look at charter schools. Harry Lee, TV6 News, Dollar Bay.